Hello ladies and gentlemen, yes, Zeke here again today to bring you another episode of Let's Play Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. And today we are in the upgrade menu because I have been doing some grinding and I have some new weapons. I have the Great Sedeus Horn, which is um, pretty much the, ult the pan-ultimate upgraded version of the Sedeus Horn. Sedeus, yes, okay. Um, Princess Panoply, which you've seen before. I also have... Uh, Exlagia, Dios, Gunlance. Have I shown you guys this? Yes. Okay, I'm trying to think of what else I got that's new. Carblight Cannon, Barbarian Blade. Actually, that's pretty much it. That is pretty much all I have. I also got a Water Hammer that isn't very good. And an Ice Gunlance, which I'm not sure where I put. Anyways, I do have an Ice Gunlance somewhere around here. Ah, Lagomber, Lagomberator. There it is. Still need to upgrade that before it's very usable. But today, my main purpose is to upgrade my chain slaughter into a uh, Rumbilarum. <laughs> Let's see, what is that? Yes, I will equip it now. And can I upgrade this anymore? Thundersaw is the ultimate upgrade of Ultimate Destiny, but I need High Volt Stones, Pure Crystal, and Elitator, which I'm pretty sure is. But I can almost upgrade it into the Zingador weapon which has blue sharpness so might be worth it I don't know the idea of the thunder saw seems pretty good to me so as you can tell it is basically the exact same weapon just higher stats I did not know that that would be the case but anyways it's time for us to do an event quest um, and before that it is time for me to make sure that I am actually ready to be doing an event quest and not just run into a wall constantly and then almost choke myself by just pouring water into my mouth as fast as humanly possible. Man, I kind of fail right now. So I'll take a pitfall trap, I'll take a shock trap, I already have trank bombs. Sonic bombs I don't need. Just making sure I'm already have demon drug, don't need Diablo shell. Yeah, what took me so long is actually getting the Diablos marrow. I think all in all... The whole the whole ordeal was probably not worth it. That's my best guess anyways. Anyways, let's go check out and see. Hot-blooded, check it and see. I've got a fever of like 103-ish. I don't really know what that equates to. So I can get Fighter, Explorer, and Cool Cat. What does Fighter do again? Increases damage inflicted by Shadow Box. Oh, man. Both of those other than Explorer suck. Oh well, Explorer is really good. I'm gonna take it anyways. It's mine. My precious. There we go. Got Explorer and Cool Cat and a voucher. I will be definitely using that later. Mask robbery. So hunt a Rathalos. Oh, before I go, I have one more thing to do. I have to talk to Junior here, Chief Son. And check out the villager request. Dragon ship duty, I can actually... Oh, I don't have enough resources! Damn! Okay, I can actually generate enough resources, I'm sure of it. Jumbo pearl. Broken shells. And then 1,000 more. A regular old quality sponge will do the trick, and I have five of them. Okay. Anyways, villager's request, dragon ship duty, hells yes! So now I can also do Gen Moran, which um, didn't used to be playable online, or offline, is what I'm going to say. Didn't used to be playable, now is. So I'm very excited about soloing that, I guess. I'm excited about soloing... No, don't jump off! Okay. Almost just got up here, then immediately jumped off. Mystery charms, always good. And there is a bug catching point here, too. Quickly gather stuff. So I decided to use the lightning saw just so I could be using its direct resistance and so I could give you a break from the elemental things I've been doing recently. Extra carbolite, iron ore, carbolite. I do like myself carbolite. I made myself a cannon out of carbolite at one point. You guys remember that? That was pretty awesome. I'll use the gun again in an episode or two just to do something. I'm not sure what yet, but I'm sure I'll find a use for it. Now, where in hell's name? Oh, where, oh, where did my fishy go? Oh, fishy, 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 oh. Oh, fish, a fish, a fishy, oh. Who went wherever I did go? 
Anyways, carrying on. No Rathalos yet. I'm assuming wherever it is, I'm going to be getting some sort of cutscene for it because I think this is a very story-driven Rathalos. Well, as much as anything is story-driven in this game anyways. No Rathalos yet. Ain't no Rathalos for the wicked. Money don't grow on Rathalos. Well, they don't. It don't, I guess I should say. Not they don't. You know, I'm right beside the camp. I might as well pick up the map. Not that I really depend on it for this first area. I know exactly where I'm going, but... Something, something is nice about just having the map filling up that whole corner of the screen there. I quite like it. I quite lick it. Lick that map. Mmm, that's delicious. Really, real good map. Anyways, you will actually be seeing me use the Sedaeus lamp as well in episodes be in episodes to come in newer episodes because I find that lance to be badass as hell. It looks badass too, but you guys don't get to see it now. You just get to see the upgraded version of the chain slaughter. Oh, so it's just a Rathlos? That's all it is? Just a regular old Rathlos? Just a regular everyday normal fucking Rathlos. So apparently, oh yeah, this is not the version of the armor that actually has the earplugs. I really think if you fall into water after you get fireballed, it should just not not count as um not count as lighting you on fire. I know I have stated this several times, but I care to state it again. Issues I can take them up with my accountant. What? I don't have an accountant? Yeah, too bad for you. I guess you can't take up the issues with them. I was trying to knock him out of the air there, didn't- A map was stolen! That's my only thing, you goddamn dick a dick ass cat! Mac recovered, okay, there we go. Didn't even have to try to attack it. So I did bring two traps, so if I need to, I can double trap this thing. But I don't think I will actually need to. But I do actually need to charge up the combo if I'm gonna get anywhere with this chain slaughter. It does not do very good damage until it is at least partially charged. I also forgot that I am bad against fire. Here. It's down a Mega Potion. And, okay, I was getting ready to panic dive there, but it turned out not to be necessary. Not to be unnecessary. Focus on somebody else! Okay. Focus on someone else when you're in the air. When you're on the ground, I could care less. Fade Slash. I sh probably should be paintballing this guy right away, so let me change my paintballs real quick. I'm not sure if there's supposed to be something exciting about this Rathlos, or if it's just like a regular old Rath... Oh, fuck that. No, you don't. Yeah, you do not get to steal my pitfall trap. You get to be paintballed. Everyone must do as I say, now. Do as I say, not as I do. Actually, do as I do and as I say. It makes things more convenient for me. Especially when those two things contradict each other. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Rathalos be being a bit of a dick now. A bit of a dick face. Oh man, I should really find a good amulet and slot in here earplugs. Make things so much more convenient. I could have done so much damage while it was just sitting there roaring. Kind of want to roll underneath it when it's doing that. Not on the ground yet. Come on. Ow. I know I took a huge risk there, but I really wanted to get it out of the air so it was so I had an opportunity to cut off its tail. Just explaining myself post-mortem, well, post-being um, knocked down and fireballed, um, 
you can add an um to that, right? And it basically means the same thing. Ow. So fucking accurate with those fireballs. With those great balls of fire, as you might say. As you might say, I don't know. I guess I probably should have been using the combo a long time ago now. Except it missed. Because of course it did. Where are you off to, Rathlos? I know you're heading somewhere. I know you're up to no good. Up to your normal shenanigans. Shenanigans? Bananigans? Bananigan McGee. I used to banana McGee. I'm used to bananigan McGee. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. But the real question is, do I ever know what I'm talking about? The real answer is, fuck no! You gotta kill a Rathalos, a Rathalos, a Rathalos. Hopefully before it's done eating so I can interrupt it. And it can still be hungry. Health recovery large. That would have been rather helpful if I wasn't already basically at full health. And all the chain slaughtering belongs to me. Man, I'm glad I rolled forward there. I'm not too glad about this, however. Um, sorry about the buttons. I know you can hear them, but really not much I can do about that. Thankfully, he did not do that much damage to me. Apparently, it was just all physical damage, which I am fairly resilient to at this moment. And I broke something, so I'm assuming I'll have time for a combo. No, I'm wrong. I'll be all sorts of mistaken. I need to very quickly sharpen my weapon, though, here. Make sure I'm doing maximum the damage. And just for anyone who's wondering, maximum the damage is a reference to maximum the hormone. Just in case anyone is actually running or wondering that. Or whenever I say maximum, the anything, really. Yes! Apparently I got a hearing protection from either Chacha or Kayamba. I think one of them is set to do that for me. I didn't mean to panic dive. I regret everything! Especially having to make you listen to all this button tapping over and over again and having a wavery voice while I button tap over and over again. Okay, I'd better, um, well, I guess I could just go back to camp and heal. Actually, that's probably exactly what I should do. So, let's head quickly into here. Onto here. Unto here. I will head onto here and take a nap. And also a drink of water. Oh, man, you gotta love that Claire drank. Clear drank. I don't know. I um, have a couple friends who went, I forget where in the States, it was like some really backwater out of the way place. And they went to a diner, and on the menu they actually had like lemon drank, grape drank, and all their drinks were dranks, D-R-A-N-K, D-R-A-N-K. And I just, I just think that story's hilarious. Well, I'm breaking a lot of stuff. Did I actually miss with that last hit? Oh, why must I be so disappointing to myself? There we go, just wanted to charge up that combo. Make sure I had it for when he lands in this area, in this aria. The problem I often had in math, actually, is that I would continuously misspell area as aria, and as you can imagine, I don't use the word Arya that often, so it's a mistake that ends up affecting you more than you would normally think. Whoa, somehow that did not even knock me over. I was like, yeah, whatever, fireball to the face. I'm all good with that. Yes! Last hit was all that matters. Nothing really matters, anyone can see. The last hit only matters to me. Where am I? No, I'm in... Damn, I tried so hard to get to the tail, but the camera angle was so vague and awkward that I couldn't do it. 
Ow. You know, after I'm um, fighting the Baleful Giganox so many times, this fight's actually rather easy. <laughs> Normally, I would not call a Rathlos file or fight file. What am I talking about? Normally, I would not call a Rathlos fight easy. Actually, far from it. But like I said, I did just fight Baleful Giganox like ten times in a row in order to get this sword. And fuck the Baleful Giganox. I think that's a bit of a steep price for this sword. Although I didn't get any of... I basically had two claws. I had three claws. And that took me nine fights to get those three claws. And then I got four more claws in one fight. So I'm not sure if it's actually that rare or if I was just unlucky. Stop raging! Fucking asshole. I'm running out of stories to tell about my grinding. Hey, you want to hear some stories about grinding, guys? I know you do. Get the fuck back over here! I'm running out of aura. This wouldn't matter as much if I didn't absolutely need to keep this shit charged. Ow. Well, at least I'm in a big watery ass area. He's still enraged, isn't he? I should be able to charge my um my strikes on Chacha and Kayamba. Just because they're basically a nuisance otherwise. Well, I say that, but uh, you kind of start... Ow! That didn't even look like it was aimed at me. Need to get out of the way or he'll kill me. Man, I think somebody must have cast recovery up on me. I'm actually at a lot more health than I thought I was at. Yes! This is what I want you to do, Rathalos. Here, do that like one or two more times. Okay, if I can get this combo off really quick and get an extra hit in before I get the combo off... Uh, that doesn't look like it's happening, does it? I might be able to get to Red Aura still. No, no. Red Aura is a pipe dream. It's a dream that I had within a pipe at one point. Drug-induced dream. Never understood the expression pipe dream. Don't understand what it means or what a pipe dream is. Oh, what? Well, that I was not expecting. I thought I had more health than that. I am dying a lot recently. I guess that was my fault for being so desperate to get the third level of Aura. I'm not too concerned yet. If I die a second time, I will start being too concerned. I also downed myself a demon drug. Supplies have been delivered. Might as well check out what they are what they have given me. Some flash bombs, some antidotes, whetstones. Oh yeah, and always take the extra paintballs, because I don't want to make paintballs. Bomb casings are way too valuable to waste on paintballs. And I just had to waste some on paintballs, so. I'm none too pleased about that, you might say. Is it actually nesting? Like, did I damage it to the point where it wants to sleep? I very much doubt it, but I, I can always hope, I guess. <coughs> God. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm very... <coughs> I'm going to mute myself for a time. <coughs> well, I'm still kind of choking, but it's nowhere <coughs> near as bad now. Sorry about that, guys. It just started choking at random. It happens sometimes. Not the most professional thing to do in the middle of a Let's Play, but whatever. You guys aren't here for the pro oh, Jesus. You might be here for the oh Jesus, I don't know about that. Oh god. Okay, time to actually hit with a paintball. Raid in the face. Bang! Raid in the kisser. Cause spousal abuse is funny. But seriously guys, not funny. Not funny. 
Okay, I may have to set a trap for this fucker because he is comboing the shit out of me in a really big way. Fortunately, he's hungry, so unless he goes into rage, he should have a hard time with fireballs. There we go. That's the hard time with fireballs I was talking about. Weapon power has decreased. I'd like to hit him at least. Are you leaving again? Ah, oh, fuck. What a dick face. I don't think he can fly straight to area 2 or 3, which are his two feeding grounds, but he can fly to area 7. I almost um, just jumped right into area 5 thinking he would go there. Oh, he can fly straight to area 3. Well, shows you what the fuck I know. Hopefully I can beat him there before he manages to actually eat. I'm not gonna make it, am I? Oh no, I'm not gonna make it. Most people can see. I'm not gonna make it to the... I've broken both its wings and its head so far. So now all I need is the tail. I guess that's what I get for um, having Breaker on me. Well, yeah, basically that's what I get for having Breaker on me. That was my whole sentence. Covering my ears and being hit out of it. Directly underneath is one of the best places to be when a Rathalos is flying. I know that doesn't sound very intuitive, but you gotta trust me on this one. Thankfully for that whole time he was after Kayamba and Cha-Cha, cause that would've fucked me over pretty bad. I was really hoping he'd get in the way of that, but I was wrong. Apparently it just wasn't going to happen. I think after this I may have to give up at actually using long swords. The thing is, I'm just not very good at them. <laughs> like see that? How, how am I supposed to finish that fucking huge ass combo without getting run over? It's my major problem with long sword. If, if anyone wants to give me tips, feel free, because I have no fucking idea what I'm doing. No, you don't. Okay, I, I thought he was aiming at me, so I was just going to take advantage of some invincibility frames there. Apparently, I did not need to, however. Now I kind of need to. I just don't have enough stamina this fight. Okay, down to Mega Potion again, get run over by the Rathalos. Okay, the Rathalos is just going to entirely miss me. I feel like I could probably provide, like, eSports commentary on the general strategies of both the monster and myself. Yes, it getting in tight to avoid the massive tail swipes. Rathalos probably should take to the air again, as yes, it seems to be having a hard time getting him whenever he's in the air, and I think it would be to the Rathalos' general advantage if he were to do that. But as you can see, he, he is not waiting for me to give him that advice. He has taken it already. Unfortunately, such a large mass can't be, can't be held in the air for a long time while it's exhausted. <laughs> I know I'm coming up with bullshit esports commentary on this, but that's the only esports commentary I can come up with. I'm not an esports commentator. I wish he could pin Chacha or Kayamba. That would also be nice. Ow. So, Rathalos, I heard you're generally pretty huge pain in the dick. You, you want to stop doing that? You know, being a dick pain? How would you like me if I was just to hang out and be a dick pain? Actually, I'm probably more of a dick pain than he is. Now that I think about it, because... Generally, my um, blows are aimed towards the crotch of whatever monster I'm fighting. Just because the monsters tend to be much, you know, taller than me. Hmm. 
Where are you, Rathalos? Where are you, Rathalos? Might as well use another mini whetstone. Probably have to pick up some some rations next time we move. Because as you can tell, my stamina is getting a tiny bit low. Low ride. Take it easy. That's not the song, isn't it? Slow ride? I don't know. Okay. Oh, man. Hey, remember when I said this fight was actually being much easier than all the, um, than all the Baleful Gignox fights? Well, it's still entirely fucking true. The Baleful Gignox is bullshit. But, maybe not as easy as I had initially anticipated. The fuck are you? Get lower. I wish I had a gunner with me. I wish I was a gunner at this moment. Yep, I get it. Come on, Rathalos. Okay, you know what? I think it is actually time for me to head back to camp for a tiny bit. Sorry I'm not talking quite as much as usual. A, there's not much to talk about. B, I'm still kind of choking on that water from earlier. So let's take this. Down a ration. Not even worry about being on fire. You know, whatever. That'll help. That'll sort itself out eventually. And see... Like I said, sort itself out eventually. Get a quick heal going. Start a nice fire in that little fire pit center camp. Kind of neat little design for a fire pit. Kind of neat little design for a camp. Kind of neat little design in general. Design in general? That sounds like some sort of weird government position. No! Get the fuck... He has not even noticed me yet. There we go. There we go. Except I only managed to hit him once during all that time, and then he fireballed me for most of my health and damage. Gotta say, this guy is kind of pissing me right the fuck off. I haven't really had to farm Rathlos for anything yet. And now I remember how glad I am about that. I... In general, prefer monsters who can, maybe not can't fly, but to don't fly very much as a general rule. No, get the fuck away from me. As that, well, that was an actual panic, panic dive. Let's get to the high potions, mega potions. I would have been dead there if I had not downed a mega potion down another one he's gonna take to the air again and panic dive panic dive actually does give you a fair amount of invincibility frames frames where nothing can happen to you that is ah I got his tail that actually was not ideal timing because I would have liked to have done more damage to him while he was down oh well Rathian Tail, nothing to scoff at. Gonna take a quick carve off here. Rathalos Ruby? Fuck yeah, that was incredibly unlikely. Um, let's replace my iron ore with that shit. I think maybe it is time for me to use a trap and first sharpen my weapon. There we go. Quick sharpen off and then I'm actually gonna wait until I have a combo ready to go and then I'm going to use a trap on him. Hopefully he will stand or stand around for enough time for that to actually be functional. No. Don't do that. Now he's going to take off. Oh no, he's not actually going to take off. What a twist. What a twist. Never reference the robot chicken robot chicken M Night Shyamalan. That's like their least clever sketches. Sketch. And uh, Robot Chicken, I do love Robot Chicken, but they are full of, of um, sketches that are not very fucking clever. There we go. Now, as promised, I'm going to lay down a trap. Well, once I'm kind of out of this mess, I'm going to lay down a trap, that is. Okay, that seems out of this mess, mess enough. Are you actually taking off to fly away again? No, you're not. He should be forced to land after he does that. 
down a regular oh never mind attack the fuck out of him I was gonna say down a regular potion but then he ran right to the trap I was like well I might as well do something with my spare time while I'm here generally pitfall traps last longer than shock traps which is why I use the shock trap in case I need more time with the pitfall later on there are exceptions to that rule I am fairly certain go ahead and down a regular potion and you know just be charged down lose like two potions worth of health pretty standard strategy for me I'd say it works out about zero times out of ten you know I'd even go as far as to say it works out zero times out of a hundred out of a hundred possible times I use that strategy it works out zero may be willing to go as far as a thousand oh motherfuck poison me and I did not take any of the antidotes because I thought they would be unnecessary. Do I have those easy flash bombs? Yes, I do. But now I kind of desperately need to get back to camp. Why is my stamina draining so fast? Did I get rid of something that I forgot about or something? I, I don't know. Gonna need to take a small nap and then probably track down the Rathalos again because I doubt it's gonna remain stationary for that long gonna need an extra ration as well a ration of rashers of bacon I gotta say the winners for um the, the winner for what the potions taste like has to be Buckley's with a fuck ton of honey to make it taste to make it slightly more tolerable cuz I agree that honey is delicious but I don't know what blue mushroom or herb tastes like and I don't trust either of those further than I could throw them I might be able to throw a blue mushroom pretty far but on a gigantic scale I don't trust either of those more further than I could throw them let's say if I'm talking a scale of like 10,000 miles then you know maybe even if I could throw like a hundred feet 200 feet if I if I was like a champion at throwing shit let me think let me rethink that measurement I don't use feet very often let me go more like 15 meters then even if I could throw out 15 meters, wouldn't be very far. Um, basically, I'm just saying most of this to sidetrack you from sidetrack you, not sidetrack to you, sidetracked ball. It's a tracked ball that's on the side. Size to side side, siddle I died, my hide guide fied. Right, so now it sounds like I'm speaking German. I swear to God, I'm not. I'm not sure why, I swear to God, it isn't that important if you guys really thought I was speaking German. You can go ahead and keep thinking that, by all means. By all means. Time to get the paintball ready, cause this Rathlos being a dick bagged. Dick bagged it? Here we go. Sup, Rathlos. You like paint to the face as much as the next guy, right? Yeah. Okay, quite often after a Rathlos does a big roar, it actually leaps into the air while using a fireball on the ground. So I'm always kind of cautious about that, which is why I hang out behind its mouth. More often than not. In a lot of good ways. Arabian nights like Arabian days. Now it's hungry, so I just have to wait for it to sit around and do not much for quite a while at a time. Ah, now seems like the time. Lovely! First time getting that combo this game. And <clears throat> I'm almost full combo meter again, so I could maybe do it again. Yes! Yes! No! Yes! <laughs> I thought he was behind me and he was ungettable. I know ungettable is probably not the proper grammar in that situation, but it's all I could think of because I was so excited about getting up to Red Aura. <clears throat> Don't you trample my hopes with your trampling and tramples. Don't trample my hopes with your trampolines. Stupid goddamn Rathalos. Weapon power decreased. No, I don't want to take a break. I don't want to break a piece of that Kit Kat bar. 
Is he limping? Is he limping? Yes! He's limping! He's limping! Is he gonna keep limping forward after that? Yes, he is. Well, like I said, this is gonna be a capture, so this is basically one for me already. I'm not sure if he's gonna go to area seven or just straight to area eight. I, I died once in that. I'm not too proud of that death. Well, I'm not, um, I, I'm, I've learned to live with that death. Stop locking, okay. I accidentally have the lock on selected instead of the, you know, thing that I actually use, the look forward button. And I don't actually like the lock on function in this very much. Set down a pitfall trap, hopefully he'll charge me. Because if not, I'm actually gonna have to kill this fucker. <clears throat> what are you even shooting at? Seriously, as good as good of an idea as fireballing the ground is, probably not something you should do on a regular basis. Get the fuck over here. Yeah, there we go. And the capture is mine, motherfucker. You goddamn dickass Rathalos. You know, for some reason, um, dragons and wyverns in this always remind me of cats. Like, I, I see them as being more feline than, you know, like any other animal, I guess. Just giant scaly felines that are ferocious and will kill you. A lot of cats are like that, too. Don't get me wrong, I love cats. But one of the reasons I love them is because they don't give a shit. <laughs> okay, I have also met cats that do give a shit, but my point stands. My stand points. North. <laughs> to the wind. Fade slash. Fade slash. If I fade slash a different direction, I want to... Oh, whatever. Whatever. Item sent to the eval box for evaluation. Let me check it out now. I got a carapace, scale, inferno sack, carapace, hardbone. I can't help myself. I'll show you a hardbone. Okay, sorry. I, I couldn't. I couldn't not do it. Didn't get many plus things actually, but I did get the Rathalos ruby. Oh yeah, I have to actually send these to the item box. Done. Appraise all my charms. Uh, not very charming, sorry to tell you. Well, fuck, that sucks. Sell items and exit. Yes, yes. Bad horse, bad horse, bad horse. He's bad. Do you want to save your progress? Saving extended data. The, now we are loading this screen right here. So you can go to the village and talk to... Whoa. Whoa. Yabba! Yeah, this is terrible. Ultimate mask, nothing like before. Nothing ultimate about it. But mask feel kind of strange. Kamba noticed slight reaction to electricity. Hmm, Kamba wonder. Maybe this mask need more shock. Maybe shock treatment is key to unlocking secret of mask. Unravel mystery, so Kamba take good care of mask until then. Well, that's a thing. <clears throat> I guess that was ultimate mask. This is more like unfortunate mask. Good fit for Canva. Klutz, okay, yeah, I'm... Why is there so much dialogue in this game? Oh, I've got a spare Diablos Fang, I guess. And I want you to not be using that mask. Unless you absolutely have to, I guess. Which he probably does. Yeah, you know what, I'm gonna keep it on him. Oh, Shock Trapper! No! Kayamba, you have to learn Shock Trap. Okay, select abilities with this crappy mask. Oh, it doesn't even have abilities? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, apparently we have to talk to Junior about it. What do you have to say? Another new mask. Make it as long as you bring me the materials. How about you get and see them? Okay, what is this new mask? Paw print stamps. Fucking paw prints. 
I just used all my paw prints for other things. What do you have to say to me, traitor? No, not traitor as in he betrayed me. Traitor as in he, he trades me shit. Just in case I was unclear about that. There we go. Hmm. Monster skin, slimy parasites, mold. So was that all you had to tell me? Okay. I'm good with that. And what do you have me for me? A new area that I can hunt in? Let's see. Here, put a big grin on the sake, pretend it's whetstone, okay. God damn. Okay. So I do have one more rank of missions now. These are the eight star missions. Now let's see what I have. Lagiacris, Horned Wyvern, Diablos, Nibble Snarf, Berioth, Agnactor, Ergon. Apparently not much new to be honest. Twin Peaks. Two Durambros. Oh Jesus. This also looks a bit tough, I will admit. This also looks a tiny bit tough. And the Brachydos. Well, that's it all really tough, but one new thing I have, Rumble in the Great Desert, Gen Moran. Moran, yes, okay, I am pronouncing that correctly. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed this episode, even though it was rife with me choking over and over again. Um, I guess I better go through the rest of her, um... Brachydose, okay, got it, got it, got it, shut up, okay, anyways, thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys next time.